solution. Today, in this video, we learn to implement how to add the toggle button in your Windows Store application. So, toggle button is a three-state control that lets you to make the three choices. Uh, it's a single button uh, that uh, operates in three modes, uh, true, false, and uh, null. So, for learning the implementation, first of all, let's design our UI. Uh, uh, I'm going to the main page. You can add uh, the toggle button at any page from this toolbox. Find the toggle button and just drag and add to the tablet screen wherever you want to add. After that, change the content of this toggle button accordingly. I'm not changing it. And um, add a text box to get the status after clicking of this button. Uh, just select a uh, text box from here and add here. And uh, change the content of this image for, uh, let's say, uh, let's say we we are designing and uh, we are designing it for an image which is like and dislike so the status of this text box let's say is please like or dislike this image please like or dislike this image change the orientation and uh, after that uh, let's add an image from this toolbox image control we have learned in previous videos that uh, for adding the image first of all the image should be present in our project so we'll add the image from here from an existing item uh, from the folder whichever you are in whichever you have saved and let's say I'm adding this image after that we'll write the source of this image so that this image will be displayed in this image tag source and the name of our image that is 3.jpg after that we'll create the event handler for this toggle button and one more thing we have to do uh, we have to name our toggle button and text box to use in the code part coding part so let's name x such that name let's say toggle and the text box name also x is that name let's say text after that, we will create the event handler for the toggle button. Uh, the key uh, event which we will be creating for this uh, will be checked and unchecked. In the checked, create a new event handler and uh, one will be unchecked. We will create the same event. After that, we will go to the definition of this toggle checked. In this function, we will guide the uh, the uh, we'll write the code for the action which we want to perform so we'll be doing uh, that if i click on this button then the text box content is changed so initially uh, in the in this dot the name of our toggle button this dot toggle dot is checked We store null value in this. First, check the name of a toggle button. It is T O G G L E. Uh, let's save it. Okay. After that, in the event which we have created, we'll uh, write the code. Mm, let's say we'll uh, just do it by if and else condition if this dot toggle dot is checked is equals to equals to none then in the text box the name of the text box is text dot text will store uh, let's say please
like or dislike this image after that in else part one condition will be this dot toggle dot is check property is equals to equals to true then we will store in text dot text is equals to let's say you have disliked this image and uh, one more else condition then we will store in the text dot text is equals to you have liked this image so now if we will run this application um, first of all let's save it and uh, let's run it so in this application uh, one error is here let's correct this we have not added the semicolon ok after that let's run this application uh, so in our main page we have added the three items image toggle button and the text box so hence we can uh, use the toggle button in your windows store application of at, at any main uh, page of your application If first I click on this button, you have liked this image, and again I click on this button, you have disliked this image, and again you have liked this image. So this is how you can add the toggle button in your Windows Store application. I hope you like this part of coding. For more updates, stay tuned to Intelland.in. Thank you.